lights. Camera. I need quiet on set. Quiet on set, everybody. Who's chewing the gum so loud? Huh? What did I say about chewing gum on my set? As I was saying, action. Okay. Looks good. Looking good so far. Camera two, we're gonna need you to pull in. Mm -hmm. Bring it in, bring it home. Gonna need some more emotion. More emotion. Okay, less emotion. Yep, bring it down a notch. Zoom in. Zoom in, get the close up. Okay, pan out, pan out. They look disgusting. Jesus. I'm gonna need to cut this. I'm gonna cut this. Cut. Yeah. Cut. Oh, and trust me, I'm looking at you when I say. ASAP. You better have my latte. You. Come here. Why do you think I cut that scene? Well, really. You didn't see anything wrong with what transpired. <laughs> oh, no, no, trust me. Even a blind person can see what was wrong with that scene. Here. You're supposed to walk in and say, Honey, I'm home. skibbly dibbly do. What's so hard about that? You came in and you said, Baby, sweetie pie, I have arrived at my house. Rid it did to do. not tolerate improv on my studio, on my set, and in my films. <laughs> Did you just backtalk me? Really? You think you know what you're talking about. You think maybe improv is better than what I have to offer. In my script, my vision. Hmm. Deborah, right on time. They're making me angry, so I'm just gonna take that anger and point it right at you. Do you have my drink? What is that garbage? <laughs> I asked for a mocha latte frappalaba. Okay, that's just a cup of water. I love you. Get out of my face. Back to you. For someone who believes they can talk down to a superior on the set. <laughs> Listen, I don't uh, know if this is your first rodeo. But we have rules. You want to make it big in this business, you listen, okay? Keep those ears open, and you do what you're told. Scene three, line 47. Read it back to me. I'm gonna do a little one-on-one -on -one action here. And can we please 
get makeup over here soon so we can fix this mess. Read. Bring in the power. Okay. When I say skibbly dibbly do, you say it with the amount of bravado and effort that I put into it, okay? Big smile. <laughs> skibbly dibbly do. Action. Where did we find this one? Open calls. Uh -huh. Listen, are you part of an agency? Hmm. Should be called the failures agency. We're gonna run the take one more time. And I swear to you, if you mess this up, I'm gonna leap off this ground. And I'm gonna chase you off this set faster than a coyote after a zebra. Everyone quiet on set. Good camera too, ready? I think this one's ready. All right. We all good. Lights. Camera. Actor. Action. Okay. Good, good, good. Bring the flamingos in. Bring the flamingos in. Not too many flamingos. Not too many. The snow. Okay. Come on, come on, bring it home, bring it home with this line. Fatalities. There were fatalities. Emotion. Oh my god. No, this is all wrong. Cut. Listen. You. Over here now. Are you trying to ruin my movie? I don't I don't understand what you're doing here. If you're just going to keep messing up take after take and scene after scene. You think what you're doing is better than what's in my script. Really? Okay. Well, can you at least sell it? Can you make me believe that that's something your character would say in this moment? Fatalities. There were a lot of fatalities. Bring me that emotion. Where's that person? Where, where, where exactly do you think you are right now? This isn't high school, okay? You're not in theater class anymore. This is the big leagues. You're, you're on a Hollywood set. How long have you been acting? Really? Okay. What have you been in? A couple of Geico commercials. Yeah. <sighs> oh my god. What's in your wallet? I know what I'm talking about. Okay. Yeah. You think you're a big shot? Hmm? You think you're tough? Know what you're talking about? Why don't you uh, bring out one of these babies? Because I got a couple of these that will argue I know a lot more about what I'm talking about than you do. See that cake? Solid gold Oscar. Just for me. Indirecting. Where is your Oscar? No? I can't find it. Mm -hmm. You know what? Give me a sec. I, I think I can help you out a bit, Oscar. Oscar. I'm looking for an Oscar. Is there an Oscar out there? Oscar, get back on the boom mic. I wasn't talking to you. I'm trying to make a joke. Cut. That cut was for you to stop talking. I don't really want to hear your
your voice right now. I'm a bit too busy trying to focus on creating another multi-billion dollar movie. I, um, don't think you quite understand exactly how much money we've put into this production, so if you can just pick your head up out of the sand and do the scene correctly, I would really appreciate it. Now, why don't we move on to scene 37, hmm? the Joker scene. Think you could do that for me? Perfect. No, you don't need hair and makeup right now. Fine. If you think it's good, I'll take that from them, and I'll do your makeup for you. Hmm? We got some super stay, full coverage here for you. Maybe it's makeup, maybe it's Maybelline. Got myself a nice little brush for you too. Just spread it out nice and evenly. Don't touch me, makeup. I know exactly what I'm doing. Hold still. Wow. You are one greasy fellow. What, did you rub a Big Mac on your face before coming here? And pick up your chins for me. Thank you. Look over there. Disgusting. Over there. Okay. You know what? Not half bad. For once, you actually uh, make it look good. feels good on the skin. So, now that you're all nice and maked up, face looks nice and clean, we're gonna run that Joker scene, all right? And I swear, if you don't get it right on the first take, we'll run the scene together, and I'll show you how a real actor can get it done. Perfect. All right. Quiet on set, lights, camera, yeah, action. So, I have a couple notes about that scene. <laughs> All right, stop it, okay? Just stop trying because you're, you're overdoing it. You're overacting. And there's nothing I hate more than overacting. So let me show you. Just let yourself flow onto the page. If you're going to do a Joker scene, do it like this. Really get into character. My father was a drinker and a fiend. One night he comes home crazier than usual. Mommy gets the kitchen knife to defend herself. You see, Daddy doesn't like that. Not one bit. So with me watching, he takes the blade to her, laughing while he does it. He turns to me and says, Why so 
serious suck comes at me with the knife. Why so serious? He sticks the blade in my mouth and... Why so serious? Yep, yep. I don't think you really have that range. I don't think you have the bravado, the, 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 the talent to, to really bring that scene to life. Mirror. When I'm checking myself out of the mirror and redoing my look, I want you to turn into a plank of wood and silencio your mouth. Now, run that thing back for me, but this time, put some emotion into it, and you know, get yourself into character, really, really try. Okay, little director tips, 101. Mm-hmm, good. Perfect. I like the messy hair, looks nice, really brings it together. Set. Quiet on set. Quiet on set. What did I say about chewing gum? Lights. Camera. Action. Looks good, looks good. Bring in the doves. Bring in the turtle doves. Okay. Get ready. Our cue is almost here. Explosion in five, four, three, two, one. What well, what's going on? rolling, no explosion, keep rolling, tell them to run with it, improvise, one only time they can improvise, I swear, if they cut, I will leap off this ground and uppercut them into space, good, good, finish strong, bring the emotion, perfect, Three, two, one, cut. You know what? I think that was a good one. Deborah, you have my drink. Why is this cold? I'm going to punt kick this across the studio lot, and I want you to vacuum up all the liquid off the floor and put it into the trash can. Yes. Take it out of my hand before it goes in your face. Sorry about that. My assistant got my order wrong on my coffee, but that's okay. I'm happy for you. You know what? Credit where credit is due. You um, actually kind of did well that scene. It might make it into the movie that was uh, a highly talked about scene to be considered for a deleted scene. Oh yeah, the editors were telling me they didn't really think, thought that, that really fit into the rest of our uh, adventure. It's okay. We're gonna make it work. Okay, I wouldn't start running around being a prima donna now. Okay, you haven't really earned your stripes, but uh, 
you'll get there someday, kid. And uh, like I said before, you'll uh, even uh, earn one of these. These bad boys. I've got plenty of them at home. Okay? I've made a lot of feature films, TV shows, short films, long films, everything. You name it. And I've done it. So, um, you'll be getting one of these soon enough. If you practice. Well, either way, we're able to get uh, at least one scene done today, and I think, people, that's good enough for today. Who said we should do more? You over there. Wire Wrangler. <laughs> you think we should do more scenes? Okay. Cut his paycheck, he's fired. I'll see you around, buddy. As for you, I, uh, I'd like to see you around sometime. Bring you back into more of our productions, and maybe you can sign on with our agency. I just wish you didn't look like that. Why don't you uh, bring an updated resume, some headshots with a lot of Photoshop, and you might have a chance. As for you, time to carry you around everywhere I go so I can look important. I hope you have a great uh, time going back home, wherever you live. If you don't mind me, I'm gonna go to my three-story yacht. <laughs> have a couple of friends to meet up there. Oh, I think that's one of them now. Yeah. Leo. <laughs> Perfect. I'm calling you on my new Invisophone. Yeah, it's completely invisible. <laughs> Ciao now, and don't forget to smile, okay? Because that, Jesus Christ, look at your smile. You're missing teeth, what is that? Maybe you should forget, but for the most part, don't. Floss, I gotta go now. I'm gonna do, do some shots with Leo and Brad Pitt. See you around. Yeah, no, I just uh, just watched The Revenant. Great work, great work. Acting was a little stale, but you know.